What's up y'all, Brickmaster here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily create a Lego Kingpin custom minifigure. First of all, I will be splitting this uh, tutorial into four sub-assemblies. We'll start with the minifigure parts you will need. For minifigure parts, to create Kingpin, you will need two black Lego waist pieces and two opposite Lego leg pieces, as well as a Lex Luthor head. What you do with the, for the legs, you take these and put these together. Sorry if you heard that, that was my brother speaking. You take the legs together so that they go something like this, so that there's one leg on each. Now moving on to the next assembly. For this sub-assembly, you will need one 2x4 slope with custom uh, tuxedo printing. Two. 1 by 2 bricks with studs on the side. You will need one 1 by 4 plate and two 1 by 2 jumper plates. What you do is you take the the modified 1 by 2 bricks with the studs on the side and put them together and take the 1 by 4 piece and put it on the side studs so that they are connected. Next, take the two jumper plates and put them on top. Then, take the 2x4 slope piece with custom printing and put it on top of these four studs with the bottom end of the slope. Now, Time to move on to the next sub-assembly. For this next sub-assembly, you will need one 2x4 plate, you will need one jumper plate, you will need one 1x4 one plate, you will need two 2x2 two two slope pieces, be sure they have the, this little indent piece and are S small like this and you will need one 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 by one by four modified one by two bracket and you will need two black wedge pieces be sure all of these pieces are black unless you're doing the kingpin's white tuxedo then make sure all of them are white To build this, you will need to start with the 2x4 plate and then take this 1x4 br bracket and put it on the back like so. Then you will take the 1x2 jumper plate and put it on the other side of the bracket like so. Then you take the 1x4 plate and put it on the back of the bracket so that it's facing outwards like so. Then take the two ones of these and put them or these slope pieces and put them on the back like show like I'm showing you so that it hangs down below stud level. Then take the one by one wedge pieces and put them on right here where there's these two studs on the bracket so that they're facing away from each other like I am, am showing you right now. Then, now let us move on to the arm sub-assembly. This sub-assembly you are going to want to do twice. What you will need for one of these sub-assemblies is one 1x2 modified upwards bracket 
you will need one one by two plate you will need one one by two jumper plate you will need one one by two ingot tile man I hate pronouncing that it's so hard you will need one one by one uh, whatever this piece is it looks like a claw so I'll call it that you will need one modified one by one other piece of that claw make sure it has a circular round tip and then you will need a white one version of this Hi, Mom. Uh, claw thing all right now I'm watching hold on I'll, I I'll show you how to build this subassembly in just a second. To build this, you will need to take the 1x2 bracket piece and the 1x2 plate and stick them together like so, so that this 1x2 plate is on the bracket side of the bracket. Then take the 1x2 jumper plate and place it on top of the 1x2 plate. Then. Oops, I accidentally made a mistake. I'm sorry, y'all. This piece, this one by two piece does not go on the bracket side. It goes on the side that faces upwards. Then the jumper plate goes right here. Make sure it looks exactly like this. Then take the one by two ingot piece and put it on top of the 1x2 plate. Then take the claw, black claw piece and put it on the jumper plate's stud. Then take the other side of it, flip it on. on yeah, like that. And, and then take the white claw piece and clip it on top of that. You will do this assembly twice. Now you want to take all of your sub assemblies and piece them together as I show you. Take the front plate sub assembly and take the legs. Place the legs in Inside these holes like so be sure that the feet are facing forwards unlike the one guy watching just did backwards right now <laughs> I'm just kidding it doesn't matter if you did it backwards well it does but I'm not gonna hold it against you just make sure that also make sure the feet are apart from each other and not close together otherwise it will not look like kingpin then take the back assembly and make sure it's facing opposite the front assembly, otherwise it will go on. Wait a minute, I made a mistake on the back assembly too, I'm sorry about that. So, take the 1x4 piece out of there and move the slopes up one, take it off, and put the slopes inside the indent area so that it looks like this. Now, you put it right on top of here. It may take a little bit of encouragement, but eventually it'll get on there. Next, what you do, take the arm assemblies and place them one on each side. Then take the head and place it on top. Congratulations, you have completed your Lego Kingpin. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I know I haven't done one in a while, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and subscribe for more videos. Comment and give me your feedback, and any ideas for videos you want to come. Now, this is Brickmaster, signing off. Have a nice day, y'all.